Howdy Fox, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to more TGC 2019, and we have another TGC Tours 2020 Major Championship Design Contest Course. And the one we're going to be playing today is called Prestige Pines, and it is by Sharky21. And we've played off the blue tees, it's coming in at 7,445 yards, the fairways are normal, the greens are firm, and the green speed is fast, everything else is default. Well, everything is default, this is the way... The designer just um, set it up, so I'll just play it the way it is. So let's get started. We're playing up in set number one. Okay, very nice looking first hole. Okay, what it says here, Prestige Pines is my entry into the Olympic Major Contest. Prestige Pines is a par 71 course playing over 7,400 yards from the championship tees. The course was inspired by the roars that reverberate through the tall pines on the back nine at Augusta on Sunday. This course was routed in a way to emulate a stadium type feel. Many holes offer multiple views of surrounding greens and tee boxes, creating an all inclusive action atmosphere. Let's put the old sky cam on. We'll have a little zip around while I finish reading this. Prestige Pines is a course that features tight tree lined fairways that require accuracy off the tee. Let's have a look at the. Tell you what, let's go up and have a look at the plot first. Uh, where was that? Require accuracy off the tee to have the correct angle into the greens that fall off. Depending on wind conditions, this is a course that makes you work the ball, whether it is on approach shots to hold fairways or to attack pins tucked around the tree line. The firmness and the conditions that the, the firmness and the contours of greens require finding proper spots to avoid rolling off greens that feature false fronts. So nice looking course, nice looking plot. It looks pretty open. As you see, there's a lot of gaps between the trees, like you said there. This is kind of like you get that sort of look from when you see Augusta, you can see through to the next uh, sort of tee and the, the greens and the fairways and things like that. Okay, you've got a nice little driving range over there. We'll have a look at that in a minute. Nice big lake down that left-hand side. Oh, where's the clubhouse? There's a clubhouse there. So we'll go back down and we'll have a little look at the clubhouse. And that's me there, just that little red dot. Okay, let's go over to have a quick look at the clubhouse. Okay, this guys, this is course 21 of 25. We're nearly there. 21 courses. It's been a long sort of playthrough. I've enjoyed every bloody course though. Really have. There you go. There's Olympic rings there. Nice sort of fencing around that. Nice sort of planting around the clubhouse. I love them sort of little decorative lamps that they've got on the walls there. And you've got this sort of big, sort of nicely manicured hedge all the way around the clubhouse. And this is the, the sort of front entrance to the clubhouse here. Again, lovely little bit of planting. And you've got them decorative sort of lights there as well. And a couple of little tables and chairs out there. Okay, a little practice area. Looks like we've got two practice greens here. Like the sort of little pathway, as you see, it just comes off this main pathway here. It just cuts through the, the sort of rough texture. Takes you over to the little practice area. And again, just a little entrance coming off that on your practice green as well. And you've got another little practice green here. Now, I think that's the, the driving range that we can see through the trees there. Now, I wonder if the road actually takes you all the way to it. Let's have a look, see how he's done his road here. Okay, he's got the old stop signs out. I do like seeing that. So you follow the road all the way up here. Again, got your stop signs there. Uh, the number 16 T is that way. And yep, there you go. The road follows all the way around onto the driving range. I do like that fence and it just sort of carries all the way around there as well. And that lovely little sort of, sort of log, sort of woody fence as well. You've got the hedges just around the edge of the, the car park there. Again, nice big driving range. You've got all the sort of pegs out there. And all the little little thingy triangular of balls there, little pyramids of balls, look, you've got the HB balls there, look, oh, look at that, <laughs> nice little driving range. Okay, let's head back onto the course then, we've seen the driving range, let's head back towards the clubhouse and we'll head down the first tee, 
Yeah, where did I say I was? Over here somewhere, I think. Oh, can't see myself now. Right, tell you what, we'll just head down this way. <laughs> <laughs> ah, there I am there. Off the back tee. Off the blue tees. There we go. Again, lovely sort of pathway all the way down. And I do like the sort of spacing he's got of his crowd here. And that sort of nice wooden fence again. And as you see, look, you can actually see through to the next sort of tee. With the fairways and things like that and the greens. It really does sort of capture that, like a gust of feel to it, doesn't it? Very nice. Got quite a dark edging around these bunkers here. I don't know, maybe it looks maybe a little bit too sort of manicured and clean cut with the bunkers there. There was a course I did, I can't remember which course it was, but when you got up close to the, the bunker, <clears throat> it has like a rough texture coming through and it looked like you, like people have been hitting out of the bunker and it's like, like sand was coming up over the sort of this area here. That was very well done. Okay, nice little bit of water there as well. Here's your first green. Let's head over this way. Again, got that sort of cart path that just comes all the way down. That lovely little wooden fence just follows it all the way around as well. Very nicely done. And again, as you can see, all the way through the trees, over to the next greens, the next fairways. That is very well done. I do like that open sort of look to it, where you can see other, the other holes. Okay, let's head over this direction. Let's head back up sort of towards the lakes. I don't think I missed anything down there. It's just sort of down at the corner and then it sort of turns around and comes back. So let's head up this way. Now I want to say, um, I do apologize guys. I mean, I've been doing this, these competition courses, I think since the beginning of April. So I usually do take some requests and things like that where people ask me to do their courses and that. but been so busy trying to get these done i haven't really had time to get requests done so i do apologize guys you guys that have asked me to do courses for you but as i said i'm only four courses away from finishing doing the whole 25 so after that we'll get back to a little bit of normal get some requests and things like that done as well right through the bridge there okay that's a lovely looking green complex this that retaining wall all the way around here that's very well done very smooth retaining wall, very nicely done. Okay, let's head over this direction. Just jump over the trees and we'll jump down here again. Nice sort of cart path just takes you in that little sort of wooden stick fence all the way around it as well. Yeah, very nicely done course, very manicured, very clean. I like the, the nice sort of green texture against the, the sort of more dried out sort of rough look to it. And you got that another nice retaining wall around that green complex there as well. So yeah, I'll try and get these last four courses done over the next couple of days. I wasn't even going to do this one tonight. And the missus got home from work early. I was going to sit and watch a movie with that with her, but I thought I'd better crack on and get this done. <laughs> get them, get them out there. Okay, so let's head back up to the first tee. Where is the clubhouse? There it is over there. So it is a lovely looking course though. Now I haven't took a screenshot of my thumbnail yet. I haven't had a, sometimes I have a little zip around the course and have a look to see what I'd, I'd like to take a sort of picture of, but I haven't done that yet. So I'll probably take a look as we're going around. I mean, something like this would be nice, but I'd probably do it when we're actually playing because then you, you'll get the proper crowds in the grandstands and things like that. And again, he's got a nice little sort of Olympic rings there, look on the grandstands, that's very well done as well. He's got it in all of them, look. Very nice. Okay, let's get down to the first tee. Right, where were we? It was over here, I believe, wasn't it? Tell you what, that, look at the, the way that, that path, it goes one, two, three, four different directions. Okay, there I am now. Okay, it sounds like it's getting a little bit blowy out there. So let's get get down to the first tee and get started. So here we go, guys. Prestige Pines by Sharky21. Okay, let's get the HUD back on. I 
And what do we have? Hole 1, 494 yards, par 4, stroke index 4, got 10 mile an hour coming in from about, ooh, what, 10 o'clock? So we're going to aim down this sort of, towards the sort of right hand edge of this bunker and hopefully the wind just pushes that a little bit. Ooh, it was a bit of a nasty swing. We'll get that straightened up. That should be okay. That's absolutely fine. At least we've got the perfect, perfect habit on the 293 yards. Because that 10 mile an hour wind, right? The 10 mile an hour wind is coming right across this time. 194, 12 up, so it's playing around about 198. Okay, 198. Now the greens were firm and fast. So I'm going to put a bit of loft on this. And we'll aim it right over to, to the edge here because it's 10 mile an hour wind and we've got a bit of a slope there as well. Oh, we hit so fast. Oh, so that's going to put a little bit of distance on it. Yep, there we go. Right over the back of the pin. Right over the top to the back of the green now. That looks like we're going to be chipping up. That was me trying to sort that first swing out. I, I kind of rotated the club just a little touch. The, the control the club. <laughs> I rotated the controller just a little touch there. Now, when I'm chipping, it always gives you like the carry distance. It always puts this a, a certain club in your hand. But I always drop it down. To it's probably maybe two two clubs what it gives you, unless it gives you the um, the lob wedge, which is nine yard carry, which is the lowest club you can get. Now, I'm not sure how fast these greens are. That's not too bad, actually. They don't look like 187. Okay, 183. So that is not too bad, actually. Okay, we start off with the part. Okay, here we've got Gary Woodland, George Campillo, Eddie Peppero, Chad Kim, Matthew Fitzpatrick, Matt Wallace, Cameron Smith, Aaron Wise, Brendan Grace, and Zach Johnson. K hole 2, 437 yards, par 4, stroke index 2. Yeah, again, that, I, I love the way you can just see, uh, as he said, through the trees, that kind of a, a gust of look. Very nice. Good, good sort of selection of trees, those big, tall pines. K, 8 mile an hour wind coming in from the left hand side. Drive was going to be too much. So aim just to the edge here because it's only eight mile an hour wind and we'll let the wind <clears throat> just sort of bring it around to the right for us a little bit oh i need to sort this swing out it should be okay though Oof, right over the top of that bunker pretty lucky there actually tell you what we've got a nice kick off that down that downhill that's 283 yards with a two wood off the tee there okay what have we got 153, 33 up, so it's playing around about 164. Oh, and I, I don't want to move this left because of that tree branch. I mean, if I move that left there, look at that. That's a good chance of hitting that tree. So what I might do is just sort of cut it in. Okay, what did I say? 164. Let's go with the 160. We'll put a bit of draw on it. Oh, I don't know if that's going to be too much. Let's put that back. Try maybe there. Oh, that's not enough. But that's all right. That's pretty safe. It gives us a chance at a putt. I didn't want to take that, that tree on. I got, got a funny idea that it might have hit the tree. <laughs> and if you watched my last video, oh, I've not got much luck with little thin twigs. <laughs> okay, what have we got here? 19 feet, one inch up. So that's not too bad. It shouldn't turn too much. Go on. Oh, yes. Nice little putt, that one. And we pick up a birdie. K hole 3, 553 yards, par 5, stroke index 18, so our first par 5 here. 
Okay, let's have a look what we got here. The fairway takes a sharp turn around the corner here with this bunk and then it sort of comes back on itself again. Just sort of weaves its way around. Okay, 11 mile an hour wind coming in from the right hand side this time. Now we should be good to get over the top of here, I reckon. I hope. Tell you what, I might aim it a little bit further to the... Oh, hold on. That tree has got a good chance of coming into play unless we get over here somewhere. So I might aim it right over to about here. Oh, we hit so fast that might run out. Come on, fill up. No, no chance. Oh, look at that. Tell you what, we probably could have got away with going with a two with that, to be honest. Okay, wow. Right, two wood. Gonna have to aim over here because it's definitely not gonna reach two iron. I'll probably just go with two iron actually. That should take it up towards the green. That should leave us with maybe like a flop. Or oh, hopefully. Oh, it might be might even be a pitch shot here. Okay, 53. Right. So we're going to put quite a bit of loft on this. Oh, it's a fast downswing. Hope that holds the green. Come on. No, no, no. That's going to roll off. Oh, damn. Ah, we should have done a lot better on this par 5. That tee shot. And then that pitch shot into the green there. I didn't hit that fast, that would have been fine, I reckon. Okay, what have we got here? 16 yards, 4 feet up. I reckon a 10 yard carry should do it with this speed. Just as long as we got up the top here. Yeah, that should be fine. Now, hopefully, we've Come away with a par here. Uh oh, uh oh. <sighs> Ooh, didn't think I was going to get that there. I thought I might have hit that just a little bit too fast, but it's not 187 greens. 183 is a little bit. It's not too bad. A little bit better. Okay, hole 4, 175 yards, par 3, stroke in next 10. Okay, got that seven mile an hour wind coming in from the left hand side here. Okay, 167, 10 down. So it's playing around about 164. Now if we put ooh, 164, we put quite a bit of loft on this. Oh, that's better. Come on, wind. No, the wind hasn't moved that at all. Oh, that would have been nice. Okay. It'll chip up here. And hopefully we're going to come away with another par. And we do. So we're doing not too bad, pretty steady. A few sort of missed, missed approach shots. Okay, hole five, 449 yards, par four stroke index eight. Oh, again, guys, I just wanted to say, I hope everybody's safe out there and doing well. Families are doing well. That's what, how long has this been going on for now? It's mental, isn't it? I don't think we're going to get back to normal, to be honest, until there's actually a vaccine for this thing. Not the normal as the way we assume normal to be, if you know what I mean. Okay, we should be good to just hit the driver right up there. Right, come on, let's try and sort this swing out. There we go. Uh oh, come on, slow down. 
Yeah, when I concentrate, uh, usually I'm playing with the, my hands on my lap and uh, just thumb. But when I really concentrate, I actually lift my hands just a little bit off my lap and I tend to look down at the controller just a little bit to make sure I'm holding it straight. Okay, 145, three down. So it's playing around about 142. So we're going to go to the pitching wedge, 136. That should actually, hopefully, just get us on the edge of the green here. Right, come on. There we go. I should play every shot like that. <laughs> oh, just on the edge of the green, I was right. I could have downlofted that maybe just a tiny, tiny touch. Okay, 11 feet. It's got a bit of a sharper turn on at this one. Oh, I didn't hear that enough. I wanted to hit that with a little bit more pace in it, try and take a little touch of that breakout, but I didn't. So that should have been a birdie. And we'll let that go. Okay, hole six, 455 yards, par four stroke in next six. Okay, our landing zone is probably going to be around about where this bunker is. And where is the pin? The pin is probably central. Yep, pretty much center of the green now. Right, with that little tiny bit of wind, we should make it over that. It looks like it's a little tiny touch uphill though. Right. Oh, I pushed that a little bit to the right, that. It should be okay. Oh, yeah, plenty of room. Nice. Nice big open fairway there. 315 yard drive. Slightly uphill towards the green here. So that's 134, 22 up. So that's going to be playing round about 141, I make that. A little bit of a right to left lie. Not too much though. Oh, come on, that swing. There's that little hook bit right at the top again. I don't know where that's coming from. Look how far to the, the, the right I pushed that. Right, okay, 24 feet, one foot up. Right, now somebody was asking in the the comment section about why, if I should do like a little sort of training video. Uh, so, uh, I mean, I do speak uh, my shots out loud, what I'm doing, tend to do and things like that, but a lot of people get it with a putting. Now, I know a lot of you guys, probably 90% of you guys know about this marker here. So what HP have done, say you've got like a, a circle, or oh, it's hard to do a circle with a controller. Say you've got like a circle around the hole here. And we could, what was it called? Oh, I can't remember what people were calling it. It's called, the guys from uh, the community called it spyglass putting. So say you've got like a, like a four foot section, say that square. So if you move your marker, say like, so it's 24 feet, one foot up. So you want to put this to about 36, right? Now, if you hit it just about right, the game itself actually helps you. And a lot of people, when they're putting, they'll pull back to like the shoe or they'll pull back to like the heel or they'll time it. But I can't do that. To me, it's just by feel. And that's why sometimes you see me belling it right past the hole or like they're just a little bit short. But yeah, that marker helps you a lot. So if it's, like I said, say it's a 10 foot putt, three inches up, move it to 14 feet or 15 feet. And anywhere around that little square, the, the game will actually help you. It'll actually swore. It's, it's like auto aim in a, an FPS, if you know what I mean. You've got to be there or thereabouts with the, the sort of weight, if you know what I mean. It's a little bit of giving it. 
The KO 785 yards, par 3, stroke index 12. Lovely looking little par 3, this one. Downhill, 34 down, so 185, 34 down. So again, somebody was asking about distances and things like that. So as you see, 34 down, so it's 3 feet per yard. So 34 down, that's what? 11 feet, 11 yards off of that, so it's playing, what, 174? So we'll go down to the 172, and we'll put a bit of loft on it. Right, I keep pushing these to the right at the moment, don't I? So, yep, push that to the right again. Oh, oh and it looks like it's going to catch the slope. I'm not hitting these approaches very well at all. And my swing's a little bit all over the place. My tempo's not too bad. My swing's just a bit, meh. Right, what have we got here? So again, 41 feet, one foot up. So it's playing around about 53. As you see, that the marker is actually set at 53. So everything's going right to left here. Okay, slow down. Oh, and it's, it is a little bit harder to judge on these sort of faster greens. 183 is not too bad compared to 187, but it is still pretty quick. That's not turning. Oh, crap. That's going to be a bogey. <clears throat> I need to concentrate a bit more here. <clears throat> Excuse me. So that takes us back down, it evens, like, come on, oh, look at that, 13 under. Did you see that score? One of the AI. <laughs> oh, that's a beautiful view off this, this tee box here. Hole 8, 560 yards, par 5, stroke index 14. Okay, should be good to just smack the driver down there. The wind has died right down now as well. Oh, slow backswing. That's going to take a little bit of distance off. Hopefully it makes that fair way. Uh-oh. Just heard the crowd going a little... Oh! And when you hear the crowd doing that, you know you're in some trouble. Okay, 271. We're not going to go around them trees. We're going to play a little bit safe. Now, can we play up here? We probably can. That's a different fairway, so we're going to play properly. We're going to take it over this way. Not a bad lie. Well, we could sort of fade that round there, you know. But will it get us up to the green? 271, 19 up. So that's playing around about 277. Now, even if it gets on the green, I don't think it's going to get up. Because, I mean, look at this. It's all uphill. So I think I'm going to lay short here, because if I go for that, the ball is going to land somewhere round about right there. And that's going to leave one hell of a nasty putt. So I might just drop it back and try and leave ourselves a pitch shot. Oh, pulled it to the left this time. <laughs> It should stick on the fairway though. Yep, that'll do lovely. Okay, 76, eight up. So it's playing around about mm, 79. Now we're 73, which should be good because it's going to run up. Right, I'll get the perfect, perfect. Now, hopefully it runs up enough. Oh yeah, that's absolutely fine. Now, hopefully we're going to pick up a birdie here. And we do, nice. Yeah, what I might do guys, after these um, competition courses I've done, I've been thinking of doing things. Uh, I might do like a 
a sub Sunday or a subscriber Sunday, <clears throat> maybe get one of you guys on and we'll have a game of skins or try and get a few people on, maybe get some alt poll done or something like that. Because I know, um, as I said earlier, I uh, have a crack game and he's getting himself a PC, so no doubt I'm going to have a, a few skins games with him. So maybe a couple of my subscribers, uh, a couple of his subscribers, we can get like a, an alt, a four alt poll done or something like that. I mean, we've probably got all the same subscribers anyway. So maybe like me and somebody else can team up against uh, him with um, one of his guys as well. Okay, so what we've got here, 297, 21 down, so it's actually playing around about 290. Oh ho 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 ho, look at that. Oh ho 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 ho. That is so tempting. There's no wind there as well, but I'd have to draw around that big tree there. Oh, I don't know. I really don't know. If I miss hit that, that is in that water. <sighs> oh, that is dangerous. Oh, I'm here so fast. Bloody hell. <gasps> oh, that was lucky. <laughs> I went right through that cap. So that's going to leave the flop shot up to the, the green here. That was so lucky. Okay, 36 flop, 42, I think we're going to go with a 42, since we're 70, 40, 81% out of the rough here. Oh, look at that, we get a perfect, perfect on the flop. <gasps> oh, you little beauty. Do you see the kick? I actually kicked to the left when it hit the green there. Get in there, nice. What was that, birdie? Oh, it was an eagle. Oh, you little darling, get in there. Okay, hole 10, 476 yards, par 4, stroke index 1. Now, I'm going to actually save that shot, guys, because I've said before, I've got quite a few saved shots now, and I want to do maybe a little montage of some holes in ones and things like that. I think I've got about three or four hole in ones, I think. Well, mind you, I don't know if they've actually all saved, because this is my new PC they're on. Oh, look at that, lovely. I actually kicked a little bit from right to left there. Let's even get a better camera angle here. Let's have a look. We'll follow it all the way. Nope, I wanted to see um, how it kicked there. Let's try that. There we go. Yeah, look. Just sort of kick to the left. Right, let me just save that. Okay, replay options. Favorite replay. Confirm. And exit. Yeah, lovely little eagle that. Okay, what do we say? Hole 10, 476, par 4, stroke index 1. So hardest hole in the course. Pretty thin fairway up here. We should be good. Okay, check my controller. Again. Yeah, I'm a little bit all over the place, but I'm still on the fairway. Okay, 299 yards. 186, 8 up, so it's playing around about 189. We're at 183 with a 6 iron. 194. I'm going to go with the 183. I'm going to go with the 6 iron, but I'm going to. Just down loft a little touch here. Okay, everything's feeding towards the hole. Okay, that is looking good if it hits nice. It should still turn a little bit towards the hole. Oh, get up there. Get up there. Uh oh. Stay, bolt. Stay. Nope. It's caught that little slope and it's going off. Damn. Yeah, you don't want to be anywhere near the edge of these um, greens. Got a lot of falling off all the way around. Right, little chip here. That'll do it. We'll pick up the part. That's not bad for stroke index number one, but 
Just a pity that didn't hold the green there. Okay, hole 11, 169 yards. Par 3, stroke index 15. Looks so like going uphill here to par 3. Pin on the left hand side. Pretty much centre left. Okay, 173, 19 up. So it's playing around about 179. 172, little touch of down, a uh, little touch of loft on that here. Now there's a little slope right at the front of the green now. It's going to kick it to the right. Oh crap. A little bit of a down hit. Oh, hit that down slope there. Did you see that? And it kicked way forward. That's a tough pin. You'd have to lay that pretty short to get that stop, I think. Let's see that pitch mark. Yeah, look at that. It hit on that down slope. That just pushed the ball, shot the ball forward. Okay, let's take that down to the 10. Full swing should take us up by the hole. That'll do it. Uh oh. oh just caught the edge. Don't know if you heard that there. My, my, my toes. Little toe curl. <laughs> My toes just saw a grit on the floor there. Hole 12, 526 yards, par 4, stroke index 5. Okay, this takes a turn. The fairway goes right around the lake here. Now you could probably lay up here on this section just to the right. Now get a nice angle into the green. This section here. Oh, but again, look at that. Trees. Or we play this direction. Nah, I think we're going to play this way. That's better. Nice. <clears throat> Just under 310, middle of the fairway. Little bit of left to right lie here. Oh, it's still quite a bit of a distance for a par 4. 235, playing 237. Look at this slope feeding it to right to left. And that slope there feeding it to right to left. And you go too far left, you're off the green. So I'm going to have to play this right over here. And try and get it to sort of... Oh, but look at that. I'm on a left to right slope. So... The slope's going to push the ball to the right, then when it hits the green, it's going to start pushing the ball to the left. <sighs> 225. What did I say? 230. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, I'm going to have to go for it. Because if we're going in short, it's not going to make it. This might even go past. I'm going to try and put a little bit of loft on it. It's a fast. Crap. Look at that, right over the back again. That wasn't far off the mark as well. So close to being a perfect, perfect. Okay, that'll do for the part. can't believe I nearly messed the four foot putt up there. That went round in, in the back door. Look at that. 13 under Chan Kim. Gary Woodland 11 under. I got nowhere near that. Hole 13, 482 yards. Par 4, stroke index 7. Let me just have a little drink of my coffee while you watch the, the flyby. Okay, pin looks like it's right at the front of the green here. That's going to be a tough pin position. Okay. Is that uphill? Don't know. Can't really tell. I need to get up there though.
Yeah, it should be fine. Oh, just look at that. Nice. Okay, 306 yard drive. That gives us a good sort of view into the green here. 178, seven down, so it's playing 176. 172. I think I'm going to have to go with a six iron, but quite a bit of loft on it. See, that's the problem. You put a lot of loft on your shots here. That little flick at the top of my swing there just pushed that way to the right. That's the only problem with them putting a lot of loft on. And then when you don't put loft on it, because of the firmness and the speed of the greens, you don't get any reaction on the greens. It just rolls and rolls and rolls. I think I'm kind of hoping for the next game uh, HB kind of sort out the firmness and the, the sort of bite rate that you get on the greens and the, the physics of the ball. Because once you get the firm and fast greens, the physics just kind of go out the window for me in this game. To me, even for a game that like sort of plays like the, the sort of US Open type greens, the greens have to be like a moderate firmness, if you know what I mean. As soon as you hit firm, they're very unrealistic greens. They're practically unplayable, if you know. I wouldn't say they're unplayable. They're not realistically playable. Okay, right. Yeah, moderate and soft greens are, are absolutely perfect because of the way HB do the physics on this game. There's no bite on the ball at all. Hardly any. Oh, crap. It's not too bad. It's in the light rough. Okay, 198, 8 down. So it's playing what? 195 ish. I tell you what, 92 to 94%. That is not bad from there. I think we're just going to hit this. Right, we need to aim this way over to the left here because of that slope. Oh, that is tracking nice. I'm kind of hoping it kicks to the right when it hits the green. Oh, that's not bad. Come on. That was a good distance from that. That played pretty well. Again, there's that little flick at the top of my swing. Oh, I honestly don't know why I'm getting that. Never used to have it. Oh, just a little bit too much pace. That was a sweet little putt as well. That was going all the way. A little bit heavy handed. Don't we'll take the par. We're still on the three under. 0 15, 414 yards, par four, stroke index 13. Okay, it looks like another tough, tough pin position now, right at the front of the green. That yeah, tree's just going to come into play that, so let's put a little bit of fade on it. Not too much. Just round the edge of the tree there, I hope. Yep. Oh, shit. Oh, so close to being perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Just caught the edge of that branch. Damn it. Okay, 67 to 74. Right. Gonna have to go up a few clubs here. Is that gonna make it? Nope. Should bounce onto the fairway. Leaves a chip up to the green here. Maybe just a little flop. We shall see. See how steep this is. That's not too bad. We should be able to chip that, I think. Ho, 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 ho. Oh, dear. I hit a fast swing, that. 
going to come back? No, it's going to stay that. Oh, we might be picking up another bogey here. Tell you what, it's pretty flat putt though. Oh, you're shitting me. You're kidding me, <laughs> should I say. Oh, I just missed on the edge. That was pretty straight as well. I should not move that at all. Oh, 16, 453 yards, par 4, stroke index 9. Tell you what, I haven't really played very well at all today, but it's a really, really nice course. I've enjoyed every single hole. Love the layout of this course. Again, as I keep saying, guys, don't forget, they, these are aimed for the top guys at TGC Tour, so they are supposed to be playing pretty hard. Whoops. Oh, I nearly hit that there. That tree was going to come into play. So let's aim a little bit more to the right. And hopefully this doesn't run out. It might. I should have thought about this. Oh no, that's fine. Plenty of room. What am I worried about? <laughs> okay, 146. So it's playing around about 149. And we're 148 with an iron iron. Tiny touch of loft on it. Oh, that's better. Still, I moved it too much for that window. Oh, ho, ho. that's a little. Oh, I didn't think I'd be short. Blue neck. Tell you what, little tiny touch here because that looks downhill to me. I think it's more of an optical illusion because it looks. If you see, it just says it six yards. It doesn't say downhill. Best way. Yep, there you go. Look, put it to the putter. Then you can see. So it's definitely downhill. It's like four inches down when it gets to the cup. Do you know what? I might just putt this. Oh yes, lovely little putt off the fairway. A little double breaker of a putt that. K hole 17, 108 yards, par 3, stroke index 3. Okay, got a little bit of a backstop that looks for that. A little bit of a slope. Okay, 180, 182. We're 183 with this 6 iron. Do you know what? I think I might just go with this 7 iron here. Oh, sugar. It hits a slope. Didn't want to do that. Still hit the green, though. I mean... That actually went further than what a normal shot would have went. Even though the wind was pushing it a little bit further, that actually carried to about 180. It's like I said, I just don't understand HB's logic. You hit a slow downswing and the ball goes further than what it should. Right, let's drop that down. Ooh, hoo, 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 hoo. You know what, I'm going to drop that down. Oh, I don't know. So I want to catch it up there. And let it run down to the hole. I think a full swing will get me to the green head. Get me to the hole here. And it does. Yep. That'll do it. Should pick up the part. Nice. I had no chance of catching them guys. Blooming neck. Okay, hole 18. 600 yards, par 5. Stroke index 17. Now, I still haven't taken a screenshot from my thumbnail here. And I think round about, boom, round about there. Or right there. That looks nice. Get the clubhouse in the background. So let's, let me just put the sky cam on a little bit. Let's go down about, let's go to about here. There we go. Yeah, 
That looks nice. That'll do. Okay. Tell you what. Let's just play this without. Oh, I should have checked the wind. Tell you what. Best way to check wind. If you're not playing with is check the flag. Right, the wind's blowing a little bit left to right. I keep saying I want to do a full round like this. Nothing on the screen at all. Oh, I hit a slow there. Push that way over to the right. But it still sticks to the fairway. Nice. Now, I'm certainly not going to go for that water with no HUD. <laughs> I'm not that brave. So let's have a look. Yeah, because look, that's driver. So, I'm going to end up playing down here. That's the iron. Quite a big slope. Oh dear. We'll go over here. Right, we could play over there. Nope, let's drive up. Two wood. Iron. Tell you what. Oh. I am actually gonna. Play over here, I think. Now, what I've done there, put a bit of fade on that because of that slope. Oh, is that too much fade? Shit, that might be in the water. Oh, crap. <laughs> oh, damn it. And look where it's dropped me. All right, I'm putting that on. Oh, that would be a nightmare. Look at that. Damn, damn, damn. So it looks like I'm going to have to bring it right around here. 168. Eight down. So it's playing around about 165. Come on. That's not bad from there, you know. But we're going to be ending up with a, probably a double bogey here. Yeah, I should have put the HUD on for that second shot. Just a little bit too much um, fade. You can't see. Okay, 20, uh, 30 feet, 20, uh, 1 inch down. So playing 29, run about. Oh, ho, 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 ho. nice pace to that. Oh, it's par five, so it's just a bogey. That's not too bad. I tell you what, that's a very nice course. That's Prestige at Pines. That was by Sharky21, even though I didn't play very well. Um, it's a very nice course. I really enjoyed that. I mean, we've got there. Bogey, bogey. Three bogeys. We finished at minus, uh, two under. Yeah, three bogeys, one, two, th three birdies, and an eagle. That wasn't bad. It wasn't a bad round, actually. Just a couple of missed shots, a couple of missed greens, a couple of missed putts. My usual play. So I hope you've enjoyed that, guys. Again, that is Prestige Pines by Sharky21. That's his uh, uh, entry into the major contest. So I will catch you again next time, guys. Thanks for watching, and stay safe.